Alright, so I was going to do a little video on my axle. Finally got it all put together. It's been together for uh, a little over a year now. Um, I've had it tested a couple times. I just have, I've been so busy I haven't been able to get out and do a whole lot with it. But that's a Dana 50 out of a twin traction beam Ford F250. Um, the one that has the actual independent front suspension. Um, it's got all my, uh, all the normal, you know, guts and everything in it from the Dana 50. I don't have a locker or anything in it. Um, just open spider gears. The 30 spline uh, inner axle shafts just go right into that Dana 50. It is quite a bit bigger. Um, however, that is my other, or the same diff cover off my other 44. So the cover's the same size. Um, it's just the housing itself is literally bigger. So it's kind of hard to show, but there's usually a big rib right here on the 44s that like drops down like a half an inch. Um, it does right here, just uh, part of the casting, but um, it does end up going all the way across um, right there. And then I've welded in gussets. Um, the entire front axle other than the C's are TIG welded. Um, all of the tabs and everything are all TIG welded. Um, everything was done that way. Um, and it is, if, as you can notice, it is driver's side drop. So. I'm going to go in real quick and talk about this transfer case. Um, <laughs> hold on just one sec. Alright, it's a mess in here. But anyway, this is my transfer case setup. So what I've got here is I've got a NP205 out of a Ford um, driver's side drop. I have my factory... 231, I'm sorry, 233, it's basically 231. Um, it does have a slightly wider chain in it. But I was up wheeling one time and actually broke the, the front output completely off of it. I have the pieces here, I don't know where they're at, I don't know, run them up. But this is when I got out of the junkyard, I just fixed it all, got it all fixed and going. Got an adapter plate in here, but the cool part is, is that this transfer case um, with the factory 32 spline input fits exactly perfect with the factory 32 spline output of my factory transfer case. So all I had to do was cut the shaft just a little bit, put this in there, and I could have actually made it about another inch, inch and a half shorter, but it is what it is. So um, there's a bracket, there's a big 3 8 plate right here that goes between um, the uh, transmission adapter plate and the transfer case, and then down in the end of it in there, possibly see down in there. But it's got a, a bracket that's I've welded in, and that's terrible welding. But um, welded all that in. There's a seal and everything in there, so I keep the transfer case and the transmission fluid separate. And then right there is the same thing. So I've got a seal in there, and then I also have a seal back down in here. Um, this one here is a another three eighths plate that's um, welded on to that one. And the reason why it's actually out and getting torn apart, or it's fixed now, but. I actually had to weld a plate onto it and machine that flat. I've got another video, I'll probably post it. But um, yeah, that's how I do it. That's how I maintain the driver's side drop is use the Ford NP205. Um, the case can kind of go uh, either way. They just kind of flip them around or do whatever the hell they do with them. I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, case can go either way. Um, I've got the the driver's side drop on mine and it, like I said, it just splines right in. So it works out really good. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's any questions or not, but yeah, that's about it. But.